like anything next next important topic is k map why it was most important topic in digital electronics k map k map is generally known as kerrang map it is used to minimize the boolean expression we can say that boolean expression we can also minimize by using boolean theorems but it is difficult to remember all theorems by by hearting so k map it needs some practice but it is very really easy so while going to the k map we should have knowledge on on min term and max term what is a min term min term means standard product term that is a product term which has all input variables only once either in normal form or complement form so if you see the function it is a it is a variable of 3 It is a variable of three variables. So if a bar, b bar, so on, see it is a min term because all three variables is fun is present in the expression. If two variables is present, it is not a min term. If it's three variables, only should present to proper min term. Let's move into max term. Max means a standard sum term. It is a sum term which has all the input variables only once, either in normal form or complement form. In max term also. It is a function of three variables. All three variables should present in expression. If no variable is present, it is not a min max term. How we can convert not a min term to min term by grouping all variables? Next, we will be discussing that point. So, we have understood the basics required for K-map construction, min term and max term. Next, moving on to Three variable K map. K map where we can sub we can easily solve three variable, four variable, five variable K map with pen and paper. But seven to eight is difficult, but we can solve. So three variable K map. What are the possible expressions? Octet can be formed, quad can be formed, pair can be formed, single min term. What is an octet? It is a group of eight as in terms. What is a quad? It is a group of four adjacent terms. What is a pair? It is a group of two adjacent terms. So, by example, we can easily understand the three variable cap minimization. Let's see f of three variables a, b, c. That it's a standard product SOP representation zero, one, two, four, six, seven. If we construct the K map, this is three variable, so zero to seven. It contains eight cells. Here, each rectangular ball box is called a cell. So, if we it is a SOP representation. So, if we place ones on zero, one, two, four, six, seven equivalent rectangular boxes, after that you should look for highest possible. What is highest possible? Octet. Octet can be possible in this example? No, because all main terms should be present. Should form an octet. So next possibility is quad. Quad can be formed by grouping zero, four, two, six. We can form one quad and two pairs. We can easily write the min term expression by looking the K map. Next coming to four variable K map. Highest possible grouping is hexa. It is a group of sixteen terms. Next. Octet it is a group of eight adjacent terms. Quad it is a group of four adjacent terms. Pair it is a group of two adjacent terms. Single min term. So we will see the four variable K map. See A B C is a four variable and the expression is represented in min term as we have formed. One, five, six, seven, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen are present as the min terms. So if we plot that. Min terms on to the K map. K map is consists of 16 cells because it is a four variable K map. Two power four is six, so 16 cells. Each rectangular box is called a cell. So if we place all the min terms on the K map, once we place it, we should look for a highest possible hexa. It it is not possible because all min terms are not present. Yes, we should move to quad octet. Octet also not possible. So Go for quad. Here, 
squared can be found by using 5, 6, 13, 15 min terms. Pair can be found by using 1, 5. Pair can be found 5, 6, 7, 6. Pair can be found 12, 13. Pair can be found 11, 15. So group them all. We can write the easy expression. Without K map, how we can solve this expression? It is a very lengthy method. We should expand all min terms in the form of four variable K map. And we should write all the theorems. We should take common say bar A. It's very lengthy process and it's not recommended for time-bounded exams. So K map, we have discussed for three variable and four variable. Five variable is lengthy, but it is not much important. What are the important applications of a K map? It is implicant, prime implicant, essential prime implicants. What is implicant? It is set of all pairs and min terms. So what is implicant? Pairs, quads, octets, hexas, all the grouping is all possible grouping we consider as min implicants. What is the prime implicant? It is implicant which is not subset of other implicants. This can be easy example by using example. So just remember the technical words. What is essential prime implicant? It is a prime implicant which has at least one term, min term, that is not covered by other prime implicants. In example, I will discuss all three variables. See, this is the easy example. It is a KM first. We should draw the KMM. It is a three variable KMM. So possible zero to seven. Here, min terms which are present in the question is three, four, six, seven. So group them in the K map. So, uh, next we should solve the K map. Two, three pairs can be formed by using this min terms. Here, after pairing, let's see, four and six can be paired. It is a one set. Seven and six can be paired is a second set. Three and seven can be found is it is a third set. Here, what are the essential prime implicants? What are the implicants? What are the prime implicants? One and three are essential prime implicants. Why? Right? Previous we are discussed. It has at least one main term that is not shared by others. By grouping the pairs here, three and one have one main term. It cannot be shared by adjacent because no adjacent bits were available in the, for this. Second is non-essential prime implicant because it is shared by three and shared by one so it cannot be prime essential prime implicant what are the implicants all possible pairs here three pairs are possible so three prime implicants so we have discussed number system and their conversions four conversions k map three variable four variable and what are the implicants prime implicants essential prime implicants Thank you for giving this golden you know, opportunity to enter the maze and how depth of my knowledge is available for you.